Greetings, I'm K. This should be my final version of Snake Eyes Guide video. All the strategies will be here. As you know, Flamberga Dragon can set any monster on your board. Therefore, if you include Curious, you can summon any monster during your opponent's turn. It should be fun, if you play a casual deck. But if you want to build a tournament deck, there will be many problems. There is a combo that requires formula synchron. Honestly, it's a fun combo, not for tournament. Because for now, there are 12 level 1 fire tuner and 3 semi tuner. Only Red Nova and Renault can special summon itself from your hand, but it's not easy. Namely, if you want to special summon a level 1 tuner, you have to use 1 for 1, a limit card which will cost you 2 hand cards. Or Foolish Burial, a limit card which can send your tuner to the GY, then you need other card to revive that tuner. Flambell Baby is the same shit, you still need to use 2 cards. Or, Original Treasure, it's searchable but the cost is very high. Let's see this game. I didn't break, I drew 4 core cards and I can do a combo start with Diabella Star. This is what I'm saying. You cannot start your combo with Diabella Star, she should be your backup plan. In this game, I have no choice, then the Ash situation happened. Namely, the main combo of Snake Eyes should be independent from Diabell Star. You should treat Diabell Star as a backup plan to recover your board. Therefore, you cannot count on Original Treasure to perform your main combo. Moreover, this strategy will put pressure on your extra deck. This is why I said that the Formula Synchron combo is not suitable for tournaments. The monster that you set on the field needs to be able to continuously provide advantages for you without putting pressure on your extra deck. For now, Camellia is the best option. is a problem. This combo will place Camellia on your opponent's board, and he can use Camellia to summon Tifon. Therefore, you may need to summon Sorrows to solve it. The advantage of Camellia is that you don't need to summon her. You can just put her on the spell trap zone. As you can see, I summon Camellia at this timing. You can choose other Link monsters. Probably, Summon Appalousa is the best choice. Due to the fact that Snake Eye monsters need to send one card to the GY as a cost. You can include Skill Drain or other continuous trap cards. The strategy is just like my unit. White Birch is a very powerful card. Its effect can chain at any timing. Thus, you can do many combo with this card. Such as Crackdown and Safe Zone. There is a problem with this archetype. You run through your resources too quickly. Now, think about our main combo. We need 6 cards to do our main combo. In our opponent's turn, if Orc revives Excel, then Excel will search one card. If White Birch uses its effect in the opponent's turn, then it will summon a Snake Eyes monster from your deck. So, it will consume 8 cards in one turn. You won't include the third Flamberga Dragon because it's a brick. Since Snake Eye monsters effects require summoning a monster from your hand or deck. After your main combo, you cannot summon Flamberga Dragon again. You need to use Original Treasure's GY effect to return Flamberga Dragon back to your deck. But if you don't have any level 1 fire monster left in your deck, you cannot use this effect. This is why this bunny lost the game. If there is a snake eye monster that can summon Flamberga Dragon from the GY, then it will be better. For now, maybe Transmigration Prophecy is an option. 
This is the core, I used it in my dual video. There is no problem with this core, it's very stable. Chicken game is better than bonfire, because this archetype needs free cost. After chicken game's effect, it will be useless, so it's a free cost. Also, it can do combo with Diabella's Dark. Since these three cards are your search options, this will be the shell. There is only one free slot for the extra deck. If you don't want to use Camellia, then I think Dona is a good option. No sample duel, it's in this video. That's it, see ya.